people welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking on another video in today's video as you can see by the title we are doing a thigh building sculpting strengthening workout that is great for your health you don't need any equipment it's going to be intense you can follow along with me and i'll tell you exactly how to do each move in order to get the most out of each move because technique matters you know these voiceovers are just for the great banter it is also because it, it really does matter. If you like these kind of videos, please click subscribe and join the fam. Let me know in the comments, share the channel with a friend. And you can also sign up for my eight week home workout plan by clicking the link in the description of this video. Okay, without further ado, let's get straight into it. You ready? <laughs> And let's begin with the kneel to low squat. Starting off in the kneeling position, bringing one leg up, squatting nice and low, or going back into that kneeling position on the same leg. Ready? And go. So with this move, you wanna make sure that you're still keeping good form. So the weight of the body is mainly through the heels when we're in that squatting position. You should be able to wiggle your toes. Chest stays up really controlling the movement as you bring that leg through. What I want you to try and do is to keep those hips back and low, okay? So you don't want that your knees to be coming in front of your feet in that squat position. So the hips are back, weight is through the heels. Um, if you find that you've got tight ankles, then definitely check out one of my stretch videos uh, because that is what will enable you to get really low, having good mobility at the ankles. And well done. So we're taking 15 seconds rest, doing it on the other side. Gotta keep both legs even. So it's 45 seconds of each movement, 15 seconds rest in this workout. And go. So again, keeping good form, chest up, controlling the movement of that knee. The one that's staying planted, I want you to be really careful to control the movement of that knee, making sure that it's not falling in, not falling out, it's staying stable. We're activating the adductors and abductors, so the muscles that control uh, the movement there. Staying nice and low, getting a good low squat in, really using the quads here. You're doing really well, keep going. You've got this. It's a really good workout today, by the way, you guys. I love, <laughs> am I allowed to say that? Because I just said it. I love the moves in this workout. It's one of my faves. And relax, well done. Next, we've got some explosive plyometric work to really get that hypertrophy and activate that fast twitch muscle. Uh, we're doing some power pulse squat jumps. Ready? and go so wait through the heels chest up you're pulsing then you're jumping up nice and high i want you to jump up as high as you can now <laughs> i was a bit cautious because the ceiling's a bit low but that is how high i want you to be jumping i want you to like obviously don't hit your head on the ceiling like let's be safe and, and serious here and um, but that is how powerful you want to be and to be powerful you need to contract those muscles so when you're low and pulsing you're squeezing the glutes squeezing the thighs and jumping up bringing those hips through getting as much height as you can take your time we're landing, cushioning that landing with a bent knee and going in for the next rep. Awesome job, well done. Relax, shake it off. Next up, oh, I love this move. Oh my goodness. I think my legs started to shake on this. It actually shook and I was like, oh, don't let them see you shaking. <laughs> Single leg wall sit, are you ready? And go. So against the wall, in the wall sit position. You can fold one leg over the other. You can hold it out in front of you if you prefer, but that's that's going to be even harder. Um, and we're just sitting, we're just chilling. We're just resting in this position, working that quad, breathing through, and just try and find a moment of peace in this exercise, okay? Think about, think about how blessed you are to be doing this workout, how blessed we are to be able to share this moment between us, working out, getting stronger, looking after our bodies. And before you know it, we've only got five seconds left. How great is that? Did I make you forget about the burn and the pain? I hope I did. <laughs> and relax, well done, shake it off. And then we're coming down onto the other leg because again, gotta keep both cheeks even. Shake it off. 
Ready? Go. So sitting against the wall. So we're thinking in right angles here. So the shin is perpendicular to the floor and parallel to the wall behind you, if you remember those terms from math class. Um, so your knee is about a 90 degree angle. You're staying nice and low. I don't want you standing up against the wall. You know, this is not a single leg wall lean. We're sitting down as though there's a chair beneath us, but there's not. There's actually just the willpower and strength of your mind and you can do this your quads can do it keep holding keep breathing through there's not long left to go every time you feel like you want to stop you just hang in there and show yourself that you can do this and relax well done smashing it next we're going to consolidate that juicy burn that good good uh, challenge with a double leg wall set and suddenly this is going to feel like actually just sitting down ready and go <laughs> i never knew wall sits were so pleasant until i did a single leg wall sit so staying nice and low breathing through You're doing really well really working the quads here getting stronger with every moment that passes yes it's tough but you're tougher and you can do whatever you put your mind to, including this workout. Keep holding. You're doing so well. Just five more seconds. And you did it, well done. Excellent stuff. Then we're coming down onto the mat for some single leg hip raises. So put your foot up on a sofa, a chair, a bench is what I'm using. Ready and go. So we're really working the hamstrings and the glutes here. I want you to try and get the hips all the way up so that your hips are in a straight line, almost from knee through to the hip, through to the shoulder. So at the top of the movement, it's like a slide, you know? It's like you could slide, you could sit on the knee and slide down because that is how high your hips are. I don't know if that made sense. It made sense in my head. Either way, intentional mind to muscle connection. Squeeze those glutes, squeeze those hamstrings, lift the hips up. Keep going, you've got it. Try and get in as many reps as you can. Awesome job, you did it. Then you can stretch it out. Oh, goodness me, I feel that stretch. Stretch it out and we're doing the same thing on the other leg. And go. So really lifting the hips up. I don't know if you saw my video on how to build muscle at home, but doing unilateral exercises is a really good way. So working one limb at a time, um, is a really good way of adding that extra challenge and really seeing results and also to even out any imbalances really squeezing at the top intentionally squeezing the muscle i know that i say that and it sounds like a broken record but it's because it makes a big difference you're doing really well keep pushing you've got this Amazing. Okay, last move, single leg, Romanian deadlift to hamstring curl. I say last move, obviously we're doing both legs, so like penultimate, 45 seconds, ready and go. Um, so you're doing a Romanian deadlift, pausing at the top, and with the other leg you're doing a hamstring curl, so bringing that foot in towards the glutes and releasing it back out. I want you to take your time with this, choose a spot to focus on that's ahead of you and keep your balance, you can hold on to something if you need to, but it's quite easy to get caught up in the oh hamstring curl this, that, that, no, take it slow and focus. So with the RDL our hips go back, so hips are moving back and that other leg just comes back up behind us naturally. In that position we pause and we squeeze the hamstrings of the leg that's up in the air, we release it and then we squeeze the glute and hamstring of the planted leg and bring the hips back through. Excellent job. Relax before we do the other leg.
and go. So really focusing, hips go back, the other leg comes up behind you naturally, you curl that foot in, release it out, squeeze the glutes and hamstrings to bring the hips back through. Making sure you keep your balance, you can reset and keep going. It's not about perfection, it's about showing up and doing your best. And that's what really brings results. You're doing really well, keep moving through, intentionally squeezing with that hamstring curl. We're working on our balance, our coordination, and our strength. You did it, well done, you've completed the workout. I hope that you're proud of yourself, smashed it. Let's shake it off and do some stretches. So on the tiptoes, reach over in front and let the weight of your head Carry your body over as we stretch out the calves and the hamstrings, reaching towards the tippiest of toes. You can sway side to side a bit before we come down into a bit of a tutty squat position. And we're just going to keep reversing that. So squatting down, lifting back up. When you are down in the squatting position, put your arms inside of your legs and really feel that stretch in the hips. If you've got tight ankles here, you'll feel that stretch at the back of the uh, ankle as well. So try and keep the heel planted into the ground. And just move as you feel, as you feel led by wherever is tight in your body we've all been up to different things today so yeah feel free to do this as more of an interpretive stretch <laughs> than a routine coming down into the lunge position feeling that stretch in the quad before reversing it and pressing the chest towards the thigh of the leg in front and feeling that stretch in the hamstring and the calf and we're going to keep going through that motion so in the lunge position and then move the hips back pressing the chest towards the thigh before we come down onto the other leg and do the same thing there Just making sure the core is nice and tight so we're really feeling that stretch in the front of the thigh then pushing the hips back and pressing the chest towards the front leg you can point the toes towards the ceiling to really intensify that stretch in the calf We're doing a nice little stretch here to finish the workout. Then we're gonna face front and allow your feet to come out uh, either side and press the chest into the mat, pressing the shoulders into the mat. Before we reverse by coming down onto the mat, pushing the hips back, feeling that stretch in the inner thigh and the hips. You can move from side to side, you can rock back and forth with it wherever you feel that stretch the most, and we're done. That's it, you did it, you made it through. Well done, let me know how you found it in the comments. I will see you very soon. Love you so much, bye. <laughs>